you buy Bitcoin, what you are doing is you are hiring millions of people around the world and the strongest computer network in the world to protect your purchasing power. And in an analog economy, that may not be valuable. But in a digital economy, it's the single most valuable thing that can protect your purchasing power because the opportunity costs in a digital economy. In a digital economy, you don't have the opportunity to buy physical real mm -hmm. estate. You can't use gold on the computer. So uh, what well, first of all, you, there's gold in computers, uh, number one. Again, again, <laughs> hold on. Point. That's again, the reason no, they work. Of course, but, 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 but hold on. But when you look, if I'm going to operate 100% digital, I'm going to operate 100% digital in a digital economy, you cannot buy the analog assets. So right, you well, first of all, let me say something. The strongest computer network in the world to protect right, your purchasing right, power. First of all, when when you're buying Bitcoin, you're not you're not hiring somebody to protect your purchasing power. You're just buying into a mass you know delusion, and you're just hoping the that Bitcoin more people. Bitcoin miners, the Bitcoin miners, in the last 24 hours, were paid over 50 million dollars worth of Bitcoin to continue to secure the network. Yeah, they're going to do that as long as they can make money mining Bitcoin, which means there has to be more fools that are willing to buy it. But you're buying in to that hysteria that more people will keep on buying it. It's a constant pump. You got to keep getting more and more money into into it. More people have to come in uh, to maintain the whole no, thing. They, but they I want to ask get, you something. They still get, hold on a second. Even if Bitcoin's price, this is important. Even if Bitcoin's price dropped 99%, the 900 Bitcoin that will be mined today will still be mined if Bitcoin's price drops 99%. If, if Bitcoin's 9%. price drops 99%, no one's going to want to buy it It's anymore. not going to drop 99%. <laughs> maybe maybe, maybe, maybe you guys, but the vast majority of people will will, will, will be out of Bitcoin for good. Peter. But let me, I want to ask you one more thing, because I, I don't, this doesn't make any sense. You keep talking about uh, the digital economy, the digital economy. I mean, what what do you mean digital economy? I mean, just because there's like a metaverse and-, and No, and, no, not a metaverse. No, no, no. We're not talking about metaverse. I'm talking about the fact that right now, if you think of the businesses that you own in your equity portfolio, how many of them have factories? How many of them have uh, large transportation uh, fleets? How many of them actually produce physical goods, et cetera? A lot of them. Okay, a lot. What, what I'm buying, but, but, but well, of course, that's why you haven't outperformed me. But <laughs> if you think about the, the digital well, economy, right, is in the digital world, there are now these businesses that are being created. Now there are incumbent type digital business. So think of Facebook, for example, they still have physical employees, they have physical offices, but that's not where the value of that business is derived. The value of that business is derived from what happens in the digital world, not the physical world. Well, no, right? the, uh, Facebook derives its value from advertising revenue and people are advertising real things in the physical world that people not do always. and people need and not people always. buy. Not always. Well, what are they? And, and so take, let's say, for example, a media company, right? Many of the media companies are advertising to have digital subscribers for their digital content. On top of All that. All right, but the, the, the people who are creating that content, they need to eat. They need to live somewhere. They buy products. I mean, our trade deficits are at all-time record highs because we're buying more actual stuff. Of course. Right? We're, not, but, we're not all but, okay. living in some digital fantasy world I'm gonna where say we two eat things. digital food and live in a digital house and drive digital cars. I mean, people use- Wait one uh, second, wait one second, hold on. I'm gonna let Peter uh, chime in here in a second. But in you're a little bit older than me, not much, but a little bit. Uh, when you first started to drive, you had to do what? You would go, you'd buy a car, you'd go to the gas station, you would buy a map, a physical map, look where you were going on a long road trip, and you would start to drive. And you normally would have to have a physical, either eight track or a CD-ROM or whatever, in order to listen to music, et cetera. Now, if you just think about getting in a car and going on a long road, you don't buy the physical map anymore. It's been digitized. You now use the digital version of that asset. You don't buy the eight track or the CD-ROM or the cassette tape player. Instead, what you buy is you have digital music that you, you probably are paying a subscription. You don't even actually own the song itself. That's been digitized. And so there are some things like a car that will never be digital. You will never be able to take the car, put it in some digital world, and then you and I can like fly down the highway digitally, right? So yes, there are still things that will exist in the analog world. But the trend is that everything in your life that can be digitized will be digitized. And I would even argue that the taxi has been digitized because now what has occurred is the largest taxi company in the world owns no cars. The largest hotel chain in the world owns no hotels. Well, they have all become asset light, digital first businesses. No, but, no the, the, the important part you mentioned, the cars are still there. They're still on the road. Agreed. 
And even if the drivers one day go away and they're self, you know, autonomous vehicles. We're going to digitize still, the drivers. They're still, no, they're not. They're, the, the cars are still there. But you know what? Money is like the car. Money ain't going to be digitized. You're not going to take real money and just represent it digitally well, that's already as happened. Bitcoin. Well, no. No, Money's no, no. already been represented digitally. No, no, no. Without, that's uh, fiat. You can, yeah. you, can, you can take fiat currency and represent it digitally. Yeah. I'm not talking about fiat. I'm talking about real money, which is a commodity, yeah. is going to be a real thing. But in the history but of money, you, Peter. You, you, you're hoping that Bitcoin can replace fiat paper currency no, as no, a fiat no, no, digital no, no, currency. No, 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 no. no. No, we're not actually. But anyway, just like history of money, you're obviously a gold guy. You study the history of money, all the different forms of money during the evolution of money. Did they all have uses outside of being money? Did yes. rye stones and marbles, when they were used, what were their use cases? What, what, what was the use case for what? Like rye stones and marbles, the history of money, forms of money, things that became well, money. Marble? When was, you mean, you talk about you, marbles. Mar, little, little marbles yeah. that kids play with? Yeah, they well, were. Well, then that's what they did. They played with them. No, no, no. Historically, they were toys. Historically. In they didn't become, nothing became money. Shells became money. Unless, yeah, but people, you know what they did with the shells? They adorned themselves with them. Like cigarettes were money, right? In prisons, the GIs used them because, because you could smoke them. The reason that cigarettes were valuable as money was because so people smoked. if I could smoked. wear my Bitcoin, if I can wear my Bitcoin, does it have value? You can't wear your Bitcoin. Well, if I can wear a representation of No, that. well, that's, no. But the point I'm making, Peter, there. is, is, is that you, what you seem to be missing here is that we aren't even against gold in this room. You know, there's gold and Bitcoin. We're not against it. We understand that people use it. People like yourself want to store it. You seem to be missing the point that other people just don't care about gold. They found a new form of money and they're going they're, to no, use they it. They think they and did. They, no, they, no, they, they found did. fool's gold. No, no, they, but, they, but bear with it. Hmm. People, enough people, 150 million people worldwide have decided this is the form of money that they want. And yeah, they, well, bear, bear, bear with me. They like the trade-offs. They don't care that it isn't used in industrial use, but they like the trade-offs that they can store it on their phone or their wallet, send it anywhere in the world instantly. So they've made that choice that they think that's better the, money. The, Hold on, Peter, Peter, sorry. Why can't you accept that other people have decided this is the form of money they want? They haven't decided it's the form of money. They decided this is what they're going to buy to get rich. No, no, no. People think, people expect the price of Bitcoin to go way up. If they didn't do that, Right. Let's assume people assumed that the current price of Bitcoin, whatever it is, 56,000, 57,000, whatever it That's is. That's a long way from when right. you heard about it. At but $10. let's say that everybody accepted that this was it. This was as high as it was going to go. Right. 57,000. This is the price. How many people would still be buying it right now if they thought this was the peak? Hey, you know, I'm happy to have I want Bitcoin as my money. I want to use it. But it's 57,000. It's not going up. Right. This is yep. where it is. Do you think you would still have all these people well, buying it? Would it? Would it? Would it be? Because then it's still not stable. Because then it's subject to the the debate. Okay, the it's going to go up with inflation. Okay, it's okay. going to go up. Tell you, five percent a year, six percent a year, six, whatever. I give you six million people straight away. I have it. The entire population of El Salvador because they wouldn't need to be <laughs> dollarized anymore. 